What up, YouTube? Xavier Professor X back with another novel review, and this one's to that John Sanford, that Easy Prey. And I'm giving this book the yellow light because there are some moments within this that are rather solid, which I'm going to touch on in just a bit. But yet, he dooms this overall project from the gate based off in the direction and where he went. Because really, this novel is just a people-pleaser novel where he's jumping from subplot to subplot to subplot. Trying to get all of these people who are going to read his books, like John Sanford is so huge out there that he has a fan base that all of his readers like to read all different types of crime. Which is all cool in the game, but at, at the end of the day, me personally, I prefer an individual author or writer to do something that's special to their own heart rather than try to please everybody. Because when you do that, because when you try to please everybody, you'll realize that, okay, only a select few people within your fan base are going to enjoy these particular scenes. And the other select few people are going to enjoy these scenes. And you divide it all up. So therefore, nobody is going to enjoy your novel all the way through. And one of the main reasons why I dislike going in this direction is because just because you've made a book for a specific audience doesn't guarantee that they're going to enjoy that particular book. I'd rather have Sanford... Sorry, everyone. I'd rather have Sanford do a concept prey book that he would much rather enjoy, even if nobody likes it. At least, at least he will like it. At least it'll be true to him. And that's how you have to look at things by the end of the day. Now here's what Easy Prey is all about. Lucas Davenport, our hero, gets called to a murder of a high-profile model after an A-list party. As Lucas tends to delve deeper into the case, he realizes that the model, named Alie Maison, was in the middle of a media, a massive media firestorm. As a bunch of other murders begin to be unveiled by him, he begins to realize that one of his own men may be a suspect in the killings. So to recap, so to recap, the positives of this book is that the first third of the book is decent to get a B or something of that nature and is something that provides a positive energy to the reader. But yet the negatives to take away from this book are the fact that the relationships between Davenport and his wife, along with Davenport and his colleague, are so shallow to the fact that it distracts the reader from the overall story. And the book declines so fast that it tempts the reader to DNF the book. And if you guys DNF Easy Prey, I won't happen to blame you by any means necessary. So that's my review of Easy Prey by John Sanford. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of the book. Did you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know in the comments section below. We'll have a conversation and discussion about it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future videos and book reviews. I'm Xavier Reynolds. Prof I'm Xavier Reynolds, Professor X, wishing you all a very safe and pleasant weekend. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next book review. Take care. Bye-bye.